Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching. Oh, I don't remember because it's been so long. OS Alt, your source for open source. Approximately forever ago in a previous video, I talked about SSH management. So I thought it'd be really cool to come at you with some more advanced SSH stuff that is a little less known, but equally badass. Ah, the command line. How I've missed you. All right, let's learn about X11 forwarding. So we're going to SSH into the Unix-based server of your choice. In my case, it's the beloved Bacon, Geek Bacon. And then we want to verify that X11 forwarding is on by opening the config file with a text editor. I'm going to go ahead and use Vim. So all is fine and dandy there. So we can exit and you can now run any application remotely on your home computer and it will display locally for you. So since I have a GNOME server, I'm looking at all the available apps. And what you see here is me making a silly to-do list remotely. Advantages of X over SSH is that it takes no time to set up and it's just straight up secure. But the downside is you'll probably get a hold of Pinky and take over the world a lot slower with X11 forwarding than you would with a GUI desktop sharing system. But that's okay, I will teach you about that too. I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial on X forwarding over SSH. I really enjoyed doing this for you guys and elephant in the room. I kind of had to come up with something lightweight just to break the ice and get back in there because it wasn't exactly easy for me. But that is not to say that I'm not coming at you with some more deep dives into SSH. I'll be teaching you guys how to set up VNC servers, the advantages of it, calibrating it, working with tunnels, and a lot of good stuff very soon. But first, I welcome some magic from my open sourcers. Over on the Discord, we got a lot of SSH love. And at YouTube, hey Nicole, like your name, uh, port number CIC, CIC. Best port especially with that uh, profile photo there. And yeah, Seagal, um, that password is totally to my real server, not a demo server. So yeah, you should totally try to enter that um, in there. And while you're at it, uh, ping flood and do all the DDoS on the IP address in this tutorial. Hack the planet. Thank you guys so much for your patience and even though I've been gone from my videos for a while, those comments you just saw were from my videos because I always check those out and also our community that has been growing strong even though I've been gone for a bit. I'm always on Discord. So if you want to learn more on how you can be an open sorcerer, go to opensorcerers.org. Until next time, thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of All Things Open Source. And I said it. It's been too long. <laughs>